Gazelle's house. Peppa and her family are visiting Madame Gazelle. Hello, Madame Gazelle. Hello, everyone. Come in, come in. Whoa! Whoa! Your hallway is a big slide, Madame Gazelle. <laughs> 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 is it meant to be like that? No, the house is just old. Everything here is a little bit wonky donkey. Oh, everything is leaning now, but it wasn't always this way. When did your house start leaning, Madam Gazelle? Oh, I don't know. It's been so long. And now I have cracks everywhere, too. Hmm. I think your house might need fixing. Just paper over the cracks and paint it. That is what my builder told me to do. What does the outside wall look like? <sighs> ah, what's this? Oh, that is my little Christmas tree. That's not little. That's big. It was from Christmas a long time ago. It was a little baby tree with a fairy on top. After Christmas, I could not bear to throw it away. So I planted it in the garden. Your baby tree has grown so much, it's pushing your house over. That's why your house is all wonky donkey. Oh dear, what can we do about it? I'll call Mr. Bull. Hello, Mr. Bull. We have a big tree that needs looking at. I'll be right there. So, where's this tree then? Here it is. That's a mighty fine tree you have there, Madam Gazelle. Strong roots. Yes, but it's pushing the house over. Oh, yes. Let's chop it down. Oh, dear, my poor tree. Stop! I saw something move in the tree. It was a little animal. In that case, I must take a look. Before Mr Bull chops the tree down, he must check that no animals are living in it. Ah! Uh -huh. Mr Bull has found a bird's nest. Look at that! Little birdies nesting in your tree, Madam Gazelle. Please, can I see the birdies? OK, Peppa. We can watch from the windows. Ooh, lovely birdies. I think there's something else higher up the tree. Look what's here. Fuzzy bees. <laughs> Let's see what else there is. I say, look at this. <gasps> it's an owl. Oh, I think I see something else. Onward and upward. Aha! You've got bats, Madame Gazelle. Ah, my friends, the bats. They remind me of the old country. And what's this? Ah, my Christmas decorations. And a fairy. That is the fairy I put on the little tree all those years ago. It's a magnificent tree. A wonderful home to so many little animals. Yes, this tree should not be chopped down. Hooray! But wait, if the tree stays, what will happen to my house? Well, eventually it will fall over. But I need a house to live in. Oh. oh. Huh, I've got an idea. We'll put your house in the tree. Mr. Bull, the crane, please. Right you are! It's a tree house! <laughs> yes, it is wonderful. I have always wanted to live in a tree house. Thank you, everyone. Hooray! <laughs> Madame Gazelle loves tree houses. Everyone loves tree houses. Masks. It is the start of another day at Peppa's playgroup. Good morning, children. Where is Madame Gazelle? Here I am. Oh. I was wearing a mask. <laughs> you were in disguise. Yes, and today you will all be making masks. Hooray! We have 
cardboard and colored paper, <laughs> crayons and paints, <laughs> feathers, pipe cleaners, buttons, pom poms. Can we use glitter? <clears throat> no glitter. Please, Madam Gazelle. Please, Madam Gazelle. No, I have only just managed to clean up from the last glitter event. Now, begin your masks, children. <laughs> Peppa is using coloured tissue paper. I'm making a butterfly mask. Danny Dog is using buttons and drinking straws. I'm making a robot mask. <laughs> Susie Sheep is using feathers. I'm making a magic owl mask. Twit twoo! I've made a superhero mask. Nay. I've made a carrot mask. <laughs> and my little brother Richard is a baby carrot. We like carrots. <laughs> George has made a dinosaur mask. Dinosaur. <laughs> and what mask is yours, Edmund? It is the solar system with all the planets. I see. I've included Pluto, even though it's only classed as a planetoid. Very good. Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. <laughs> so, are we all finished? Mine would look better with some glitter on it. Please, can we have some glitter, Madam Gazelle? Glitter, 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 glitter. There are lots glitter, of other shiny glitter, things you can glitter. use. Not as good as glitter. Glitter, glitter, glitter. No, glitter gets everywhere. There is no getting rid of it once it comes out. It is a menace. But it's so special and magic. Please, can we have some glitter? Please. Oh, all right. But only if you all promise to be very, very careful with it. We promise. OK. I will unlock the glitter cabinet. Madam Gazelle keeps the glitter safely locked away. Now, children, you did promise to use this glitter very carefully. It is home time, and the parents have come to collect the children. Ah! Glitter! Don't panic. Please remain calm. There was a glitter leak, but we have it under control now. <laughs> Today, the children have been making masks. Ooh. Ho, ho. I'm here to pick up Pepper and George, but I can't see them anywhere. I'm a pretty boy. Flutter, flutter, flutter! <laughs> Excuse me, Mrs. Butterfly. I'm looking for two little piggies. Do you know where I can find them? <laughs> Daddy, I tricked you. It's me. <laughs> Peppa, what a surprise. But where is George? <laughs> ah! <laughs> George, it's you. <laughs> I thought you were a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Madam Gazelle, I can't find Rebecca and Richard. Would you mind if I took these two carrots home instead? <laughs> Silly, Mummy. It's us. Oh, <laughs> Rebecca, Richard. <laughs> Come on, Pedro. Time to go home. I am not Pedro. I am Super Pony. Oh, does Super Pony want to come home? Or does Super Pony want to stay here for the night? Come home with you, please, Mummy. Haven't we all had fun making wonderful masks? Who are you? It is I, Madame Gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> Madame Gazelle loves masks. Everyone loves masks. <laughs> It is playtime at Peppa's playgroup. <laughs> Stop! Mr. Bull, what are you doing to our playground? We're digging it up! <laughs> Mr. Bull loves digging. <laughs> Hello! Daddy, why are you here? I'm working with Mr. Bull. Ooh! It looks like Mr. Bull is doing all the work. Mr. Bull just builds the playground. I do the hard bit, planning it all. Ah. I've worked it all out with science. That sounds very interesting, Daddy Pig. It is. Would you like to teach the children some simple science? It would be my pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> 
Let's start by doing an experiment. <laughs> what is an experiment? It's a way to find something out that we don't know. Like, how many children does it take to lift Madame Gazelle? One. A hundred. Ten hundred. <laughs> You're all just guessing. What's the answer? I don't know, but we can use an experiment to find out. Who wants to try and lift Madame Gazelle? Me! Me! Oh, I can't lift her. Madame Gazelle is too heavy for one child to lift. Let's try two children. <laughs> me! She's very heavy. Madame Gazelle is too heavy for two children to lift. Let's try three children. <laughs> it takes three children to lift Madame Gazelle. We just did some simple science. It was fun. <laughs> Let's do another experiment. Yes! Make a tower of blocks. <laughs> Very good, but the tower looks a bit wobbly. How can we make the tower less wobbly? Um, put the big blocks at the bottom and the small blocks at the top. Fantastic! Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. Can we do more experiments? Of course. Who can tell me their favourite game? Jumping up and down in muddy puddles. And what do we need to make a muddy puddle? Dirt and water. Dirt and water. Mix them together to make a muddy puddle. Peppa, please test the puddle. This puddle is too dry. Let's add some more water. Please jump again, Peppa. This puddle is just right. Nice and muddy. <laughs> and making muddy puddles is a bit like making concrete. Concrete is what we're using to make your new playground. It starts off wet and soft like mud, then it sets and goes hard forever. Ooh. Right now, it is gloopy like custard. Let me show you. You see, it's very soft. But who can tell me what's going to happen next? The concrete will go hard. Exactly. It will set as hard as rock. Uh, Daddy Pig, I think you should step out of there before... I'll be with you in a moment, Mr Bull. I'm just talking to the children. Yes, but... Uh... You see, the concrete is soft. Still soft. And now... Hard. Wow! All thanks to a bit of simple science. Now, Mr. Bull, uh, what was it you were saying? I was trying to say you should get out before the concrete goes hard. Ah. Daddy Pig is stuck. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I'll have you out in a jiffy. How? I'll dig up a playground. <laughs> Daddy Pig loves being dug out of concrete. Everyone loves being dug out of concrete. <laughs> Pepper and her friends have brought their bikes to playgroup. Children, today we have very important visitors. The police are coming to our playgroup. The police drive cars with flashing lights. Nina, Nina, no, Nina. It's D -door, D -door, no, it's D door, D door, D door. Cars go. Woo -woo -woo. Nina, Nina, Nina. Yes, yes. If I might explain, what I was about to say was police. The police. Here are the police. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. That is how the police say hello. Hello, hello, hello. 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 <laughs> I'm Police Officer Squirrel. And I'm Police Officer Panda. We're going to teach you how to ride your bicycle safely. Ooh. Right, let's see you all riding your bikes. <laughs> Look where you're going! Always keep your ears and eyes open. And stop! Well done, children! Now, suppose you're riding your bike along and someone steps out in front of you. What do you do? Um, uh... I would ring my bell. 
bell. Very good. Ringing your bell lets others know you are there. Can you all show me how good you are at ringing bells? <laughs> um, I don't have a bell. I have a horn. A horn is just as good as a bell. Could you give your horn a tiny little toot so that we can all... <laughs> yes. That should be sufficient to alert the public of your approach. Now for the last bit of the lesson. Where is he going? Police Officer Panda is driving to the bottom of the hill. Calling Police Officer Squirrel. Over. Can you read me? Over. Read you loud and clear. Over. The police have special phones to talk to each other. I'm in position. Over. Now, when I blow my whistle, I want you all to cycle down the hill and use your brakes to not bump into Police Officer Panda. OK! <laughs> They're on their way. Over. I see them coming. Over. <laughs> Very good braking, everyone. Are you ready for Madame Gazelle? Over. Send her down. Over. Uh, I don't think I need to do this. I am the teacher and I wasn't Off supposed to go. be taught. Ooh. Ears and eyes open. Ears and eyes open. Yes. This is fun. Ring your bell. Oh, yes. Ring bell. Brakes! Oh, yes, brakes! Well done. And that's how to ride your bicycles safely. Children, thank the police for taking time off from their important work to talk to us today. Thank you! You're very welcome. When I grow up, I want to be a policeman. And what is it about being a policeman that you like? I like blowing whistles. <whistles> Very good. But of course, there's more to being a police officer than blowing whistles. Oh, yes. We're always very busy. We do lots of very important things, like... Uh... The police solve mysteries and drive cars with flashing lights. Nina, Nina, woo! Spot on, Freddy. Right, we really must be on our way. And remember, always keep your ears and eyes open. <laughs> oh! Who put that tree there? Yes, it's not a safe place to put a tree. I'll make a note. Dangerous tree on public highway. Ho, oh, oh. ho. You see, children, a police officer's work is never done. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Peppa loves the police. Everyone loves the police. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and her friends have come to Rebecca Rabbit's house for an Easter egg hunt. Hello, Rebecca. Hello, everyone. Are you looking forward to the egg hunt? Yes. Ready, steady, go. Wait, stop, stop. What? You can't start. The Easter Bunny hasn't been to hide the eggs yet. Oh. When is the Easter Bunny getting here? Very soon. Good. We'll wait. Uh... But the Easter Bunny is very shy and won't come if you're looking. OK, we'll close our eyes. <laughs> no peeking. I can hear something. It's the Easter Bunny. No, it's not. It's just my daddy. Here is Mr Rabbit. Hello, everyone. What are you all doing here? We've come for the Easter egg hunt. Oh. I hope the Easter Bunny will come soon, Mr Rabbit. Oh, yes, me too. I, uh, must just go and check my carrot patch. This is Mr Rabbit's carrot patch. Remember, children, the Easter Bunny is very shy and won't come if we're looking. Let's wait indoors. <laughs> Rebecca Rabbit's house is underground. <laughs> Rebecca, have you ever seen the Easter Bunny? No. But the Easter Bunny is a rabbit. Yes. And you are a rabbit. Yes. What does it look like? I think it looks like me, but a bit bigger. 
I think the Easter Bunny has a rocket pack. <laughs> yes, it's a Super Bunny. I think the Easter Bunny has a magic fairy wand. I think the Easter Bunny must be very big to carry all those eggs everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> no, the Easter Bunny is invisible. What? Invisible means you can't see it. <laughs> That's silly. <laughs> Oh, somebody's hiding an egg. It must be the Easter Bunny. I wish we could see the real Easter Bunny. Maybe we can see it through the window. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't see anything. We're never going to see the Easter Bunny. Ahem. <gasps> Remember, no peeking. Sorry, Mummy. Hello, everyone. Oh, hello, Mr Rabbit. How are your carrots? What carrots? The carrots you went out to check. Oh, they're fine. Daddy, did you see the Easter Bunny? Uh, no, but I'm sure the Easter Bunny will have been by now. Do you think the children can start looking for the eggs yet? Oh, yes, I would say so. <laughs> right, are you ready to find the eggs the Easter Bunny has hidden? Yes! Ready? When you have found all the eggs, we share them out equally. Steady! There should be one egg Go! for every child. Don't worry if it takes you a long time to find them. Danny Dog has found an egg under a plant pot. <laughs> Susie Sheep has found one in a bush. Pepper has found an egg in a tree. George has found one in a bucket. Finished! Wow, that was quick. And with one egg each. Great. Wait! What's that over there? Easter Bunny! Shh! Let's creep up quietly! Yes! <laughs> now we'll see what the Easter Bunny looks like. <laughs> that is not the Easter Bunny. That is Rebecca Rabbit. Oh! We thought you were the Easter Bunny. No, I'm me. And I found an egg. <laughs> We've all found eggs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little bunny and I like to play. I hop, skip and jump and I play all day. I've a fluffy tail and bouncy legs. I like eating carrots and chocolate eggs. <laughs> <laughs> we are little bunnies and we... Scooters! It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper and George are playing on their scooters. Whee! <laughs> vroom, vroom. <laughs> oh. George is still learning how to scooter. He is a bit worried. <laughs> George, come on! <laughs> What's the matter, George? <laughs> Shall I teach you how to scooter? <laughs> OK, you hold on to the handlebars like this with both hands. Now stand on the scooter. Oh. No, George. Stand on the scooter with one foot. Good. <laughs> now push off with the other foot like this. Whee! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> George has learned to scooter. <laughs> Pepper, George. That's enough scootering for now. It's time to go to playgroup. Oh, we've only just started scootering. <laughs> Can we ride our scooters to playgroup, Daddy? Good idea. We could do with the exercise. Hooray! Ready, steady, go! Whee! Wait for me. See you later, Mummy Pig. See you later. Pepper and George are riding their scooters to playgroup. Not so fast. Come on, Daddy. Daddy can't keep up. Wait for me. Pepper and George have arrived at playgroup. Bye. Oh, now I'm going to have to walk back home. 
What I need are some wheels. Hang on, I've got wheels. Whee! Ha <laughs> ha, this is fun. <laughs> Daddy Pig likes scootering. Vroom, vroom. Whee! <laughs> Daddy Pig, you're riding Peppa's scooter. Yes, scootering is such fun. You should try it sometime. <laughs> Pepper and George are painting pictures at Playgroup. Madam Gazelle, we came to school on our scooters today. <laughs> Very good, Pepper and George. Let's all paint pictures of how we came to school today. <laughs> <laughs> I came on my bicycle. <laughs> Very good. I walked here. So nice to get the fresh air in your lungs. My granddad brought me in his truck. Broom, broom, broom. Uh -huh. Lovely. It is time for Mummy and Daddy Pig to pick up the children from playgroup. Have you got the car keys, Daddy Pig? I don't think we should take the car, Mummy Pig. But it's a long way to walk to playgroup. We don't have to walk. I made that mistake this morning. We can scooter. <laughs> Race you! Whee! What? Are you sure? Uh, OK. Whee! Whee! Mummy and Daddy Pig are scootering to playgroup to pick up Pepper and George. <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> that was great. I told you we wouldn't have to walk. Mummy! Daddy! You brought our scooters! <laughs> Hooray! Whee! Whee! Ah, uh, yes. That seems to leave us without scooters for the journey home. Daddy Pig, you said we wouldn't have to walk. We won't have to walk, but we will have to run. Race you! Hey, wait for me! Whee! <laughs> this is fun! Peppa! George! Oh, wait for Mummy and Daddy! <laughs> Peppa and George love scootering. Everybody loves scootering. <laughs> Boomerang! It is the end of Peppa's holiday with Kylie Kangaroo. <laughs> Why don't you children go and play in the garden while we pack? OK, Mummy! <laughs> this holiday is the best! <laughs> I loved having you stay, Peppa. I wish we didn't have to go back home. <laughs> Don't be sad. I've got you a goodbye present. Ooh, is it a banana? No. <laughs> Dinosaur? No. It's a thing. Yes, but it's not just any old thing. It's a boomerang. A boomerang? Boomerangs are very special to us. We've used them since olden times. Wow. Thank you, Kylie. Uh, what do you do with it? You play catch with it. Like a ball. Sort of, but when you throw a boomerang, it comes back to you. That's impossible. <laughs> I told you it was impossible. You need to throw it harder. George, you have a go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It doesn't work. You're just not throwing it right. <laughs> you need to throw it hard. What? Like this? <gasps> Watch out! Whoa! Ha! I did it! The boomerang has <laughs> flown all the way back to Peppa. <laughs> what was that? It's a boomerang, Daddy. Ah, uh, yes. You have to throw it hard and then it comes back. Allow me to show you, Mr Pig. Are you ready? One, two, three, throw! So, when does it come back? Ah. Keep a good lookout, kids. That boomerang could be anywhere. I think we might have found it. Hello. This is Mr Wallaby. He is the next door neighbour. Uh, hi Mr Wallaby. I was, uh, just teaching these kids how to throw a boomerang. Sorry about your window. Well, there's no worries there, mate. What's a broken window between friends? <laughs> Mr Wallaby is a very nice neighbour. Don't let it happen again, though. Thanks. 
like I was saying, to throw a boomerang, you need to throw it hard. What? Like this? That's it, Daddy! It's coming back! Here she comes! Here she comes! Catch it, Mr Pig! Ah, missed it! <gasps> oh, no! The boomerang has broken another window. Well, <laughs> I think we should be going. Well, you've still got some windows left. Hey, no! You can't leave until I've had a go. Let me show your mates how a boomerang should be thrown. Thanks, Mr Wallaby. Ah, uh, don't mention it. That's what neighbours are for. <laughs> now, the trick is you need to throw the boomerang more upright. Like this. Ooh. It's good, it's good, it's a good throw. Here it comes. It's good. It's looking... Oh, no! Someone catch it! Oh, dear. The boomerang has broken another window. So, um, we absolutely must be going now. Do you want any help mending your windows? Ah, uh, no worries, mate. That time it was my fault. Mr Wallaby really is a very nice neighbour. See you later. Bye-bye. See you later. <laughs> Where have you all been? Ah, just throwing boomerangs, you know. Mr Wallaby's windows have all been We broken. had a great time, didn't we, kids? Yes. <laughs> I've loved having you stay, Pepper. We've loved it too, haven't we, George? <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget your present. Oh, yes, the boomerang. Thank you. Come back again. I will, just like the boomerang. <laughs> Pepper has had the best holiday ever with Kylie Kangaroo. Bing, the zoo. Pepper and her playgroup are visiting the zoo for the day. Children, are you ready to see all kinds of animals? Yes, Madame Gazelle. Today, we will be meeting wild animals. Ooh. But don't worry, the wild animals will be safely behind fences. <laughs> ah, a lion has escaped! Hello, I'm Mr. Lion. Welcome to the zoo. It is Mr. Lion, the zookeeper. Hello, Mr. Lion. You've picked a good time to visit. It's feeding time. Ooh. This way to the animals. <laughs> Here are the tortoises. Ooh. We keep this gate shut so they don't run away. They don't look like they could ever run. No, they're moving very slowly. Yes, that's why they live to be so old. How long do they live? Tortoises can live a hundred years. Wow! Now, feeding time. Who knows what tortoises like to eat? Uh... Tortoises like to eat vegetables. That's right. That's why we feed them lettuce. Mr Lion is feeding the tortoises lettuce. But of course, children, not all animals eat vegetables. That's right, Mrs Wildebeest. My name is Madame Gazelle. Sorry, gazelle, wildebeest. For some reason, I always get those two mixed up. <laughs> Mr Lion, what animal will we see next? I'll give you a clue. It lives in water. Is it a whale <laughs> or a shark? Oh, wait and see. <laughs> <laughs> Look carefully into the water. I can't see anything. There's nothing in there. Wait, I think I see something. Ah! Crocodile! Hello, I'm Mrs. Crocodile. I'm the keeper in charge of the penguins. Ah, oh, penguins! Adorable, aren't they? And now it's their feeding time. Penguins eat fish. Ooh. Penguins are very good at catching. And waddling. <laughs> <laughs> and they like to swim. 
If you look through the glass wall, you can see the penguins swimming underwater. Wow! They're really good at swimming. Yes, that's why we have this fancy pool for them. Very interesting. Thank you, Mrs. Crocodile and Mr. Lion. It's our pleasure, Mrs. Wildebeest. Gazelle. Of course, yes, gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> what animal are we meeting next? I can see it. It's very tall. It's a giraffe. Yes, that's my dad. He's a keeper at the zoo. Hello. I'm Mr. Giraffe. Hello, Mr. Giraffe. What sort of animal are you looking after? See if you can guess. <laughs> <laughs> Look up there. There's a net. It must be a flying wild animal. It must be hiding, watching us, waiting to pounce. <laughs> Ooh, butterflies. Mr. Giraffe looks after the butterflies. Is it the butterflies' feeding time? Yes, and the butterflies get all the food they need from these flowers. It is amazing they can live on just the food from flowers. I wish I could get by just eating flowers. Yes, all this talk of eating has made me quite hungry. Me too. Well, it's our feeding time now. What's for lunch today, Mr. Lion? Oh, ho lunch boxes for everyone. Sandwiches, fruit juice, and an apple. Little picnics in boxes. Tuck in, everyone. Hooray! <laughs> Mr. Lion loves feeding time at the zoo. Everyone loves feeding time at the zoo. <laughs> Today is Captain Dog's birthday. Happy birthday, Captain Dog! <sighs> Thank you, everyone. Daddy, you look sad. Oh, it's nothing, son. Just seeing this here boat reminded me how much I miss the sea. Captain Dog loves the sea. Why not open your birthday present? It's a boat trip. A boat trip? That's just what I wanted. Let's go! <laughs> There's nothing better than sailing a boat. You could go anywhere you want in a sailing boat. We could head for the tropics or have an Arctic adventure. We might even see a whale. <laughs> it's just a day trip, dear. This is the canal. Now, where's the sailing boat? We're going on this canal boat. I see. We use the canal boat to get to the sailing boat. No, dear. We're going on this boat for your birthday and we're sailing it down the canal. But on a canal, you can only go this way and that way. It'll be fun. Come on, Dad. It is a boat. Yes, Danny, you're right. A boat on the water. All aboard. Oh, I wanted to say that. Oh, I'm sorry. Go on, then. All aboard! <laughs> Raise the sail! Oh, where is the sail? Canal boats do not have sails. You just push this button to make the boat go. Ah, thank you, Mummy Dog. <laughs> and we're away. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Duck is going faster than our boat. Want a race, do you, Mrs. Duck? <laughs> Full steam ahead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can't this thing go any faster? No, this is the top speed. Oh. Anyway, you want to slow down. We're coming to a mountain. Ah! Look out! There's a mountain! in front. We're going to crash straight into it. No, we're going into the tunnel. There is a tunnel through the mountain. It's all gone dark. And our voices sound funny. <laughs> we sailed straight through the middle of a mountain. <laughs> this canal boat is actually quite fun. <laughs> Look, here comes another mountain. And that means another tunnel. Not this time. Oh, there's no tunnel. So what do we do? 
We're going uphill. There's no way in the world a boat can go uphill. There is, and it's called a lock. Watch, I'll show you. Mummy Dog is opening the gates to the lock. Take her in, Captain. Just wait there while I close these lock gates. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm letting in the water from the top. We're going up. The rising water is lifting the canal boat up. Now I open these gates. Take her out, Captain. Full steam ahead! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Where's the ground gone? We're in the sky! We're sailing over a bridge. Yes, this bridge means we can sail high above the valley below. Ha <laughs> ha! Sailing across the sky. What could be a better adventure? <laughs> <laughs> sailing across the sky. In a boat so high. Floating on the water, sailing across the sky. <laughs> Have you had a fun time, Daddy? I should say so. I've sailed through mountains, over hills and across the sky. <laughs> this is my best birthday ever. Captain Dog loves canal boats. Everyone loves canal boats. Once upon a time. Pepper and George are looking at storybooks. Look, George. This is an exciting adventure. <laughs> there are fairies and three bears who can't stop eating porridge. <laughs> and a naughty wolf who's looking for an old lady to eat. Oh. Don't worry, George. It's always a happy ending. <laughs> I wish we lived in the fairy story. <laughs> Peppa, George, it's time to go. Are we going on an adventure? Yes, we're going to Granny and Grandpa Pig's house for lunch. That's not an adventure. There'll be potatoes. Can we bring our picture books to read in the car? We're not going in the car, Peppa. We're walking there instead. Walking? All the way to Granny and Grandpa's house? Yes, there's a shortcut through the park. Will there be dragons and fairies in the park? Not that I know of. But it will be a nice walk. <sighs> but there won't be any magic. Maybe, if we look hard enough, we might see some. Pepper and George have arrived at the park. Hmm, it doesn't feel like a magic place. Oh, I don't know. It feels a bit magic to me. Yes, this is like the path in Little Red Riding Hood. I wouldn't be surprised if we bumped into the big bad wolf. <laughs> Hello there. It is Mr Wolf. Hello, Mr Wolf. How are you? Very well, thank you. Just a little bit hungry. I'm trying to decide where to go for lunch. I'm going to my granny's house for lunch. Are you really? Yes. Is it far? Not far. This is the shortcut. We'll be there soon. Very good. Oh, well, catch you later. Goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs> that was just like Little Red Riding Hood. Meeting Mr Wolf in the middle of the woods when I'm going to Granny's house. <laughs> <laughs> Which way now, Daddy Pig? Uh, I'm not sure. There's a little house over there. Let's ask them the way. Hello? Is there anybody home? I wonder who lives here in the middle of the woods. There are three chairs. And three bowls of porridge. Hello, Peppa. Here are Belinda Bear and Mummy and Daddy Bear. Hello, Hello there. there. Hello, Mr and Mrs Bear. Sorry to trouble you. The door was open, so we came inside. It's quite all right. It's lovely to see you. Are you going to stay for lunch, Peppa? It's porridge. <laughs> it's not too hot or too cold, but just right. <laughs> We're actually on our way to have lunch at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Could you point us in the right direction, please? <laughs> that path there will take you to Granny Pig's house. Thank, Thank you. you. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Wow. That was just like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. 
Yes, with a little house and three chairs. And three bowls of porridge. <laughs> <laughs> we are in a fairy tale. Pepper has arrived at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Granny Pig, we're here. Hello. Oh. Here is Mr Wolf. Mr Wolf, why are you here? I'm just round for something to eat. Your granny has made a lovely lunch. Mm. Yes, I've made a lovely lunch and it's ready now. Come inside. Hello, Peppa. Hello. Wendy Wolf has come for lunch too. Lunch is served. Hooray! Potatoes! Potatoes. Ho, ho! You can never have too many potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy, I've had an adventure in the fairy tale woods. Ooh, what's the fairy tale woods? It's where you live inside a fairy story. <laughs> Peppa loves fairy stories. Everyone loves fairy stories. <laughs> Today, Mr. Potato has come to Peppa's playgroup. Children, Mr. Potato is here to talk to you today about eating fruit and vegetables. Oh! I am going to show you a movie called Super Potato. Yay! Super Potato! Wow! Oh, my hat is blown off. Help me, Super Potato! By the power of vegetables, I am here! Aha! Thank you, Super Potato! Remember, kids, always eat your five a day! Fruit and vegetables keep us alive! Always remember to eat your five! And now, we have a very special guest! Can you guess who it is? It's not my daddy, is it? No. It's not my daddy, is it? No, it is nobody's daddy. Is it my mummy then? No, it is no relation of anyone here. The special guest coming to see you today is... Super Potato is coming. Hooray! But before he does, we must call him... <clears throat> Super Potato! Super Potato! Very good. I'll just go and see if he is outside. Keep shouting. Super Potato! Super Potato! By the power of vegetables, I am here! Hooray! Wonderful! Now, who has a question they would like to ask Super Potato? Ask me anything you like about fruit and vegetables. Anything! What is the tallest building you've ever jumped? What's that? Why do I like carrots so much? I'll tell you why. Because they are so tasty! Can you run faster than a train? Which vegetable makes you run fast? That's a good question. I would have to say a Brussels sprout. Have you ever eaten a potato? Uh, fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. Doctors now recommend you eat seven a day. Uh... Always remember to eat your seven. Right. Let's all give Super Potato a nice big clap for coming to see us today. Thank you. Thank you. And remember, kids, eat fruit and vegetables. Super Potato has left the building. Oh, dear. Did I miss him? Yes. He was brilliant. Well, it was lovely to see you all, but I'd better be going too. Bye. Come on, children. Let's wave Mr. Potato goodbye. Oh, dear. Mr. Potato's car won't start. Ah! I cannot get out! Mr. Potato is stuck. Help! Let me out! What shall we do? Help! Call help. for Super Potato! Let me out! Super Potato! Super Potato! I think he might be too busy to come. No, really? Really? I do not think that will work this time. No, Madam Gazelle, you just need to shout out with us. OK. Help us, Super, Super Potato. Potato! There, it didn't work. Now I think we What's need to... What's that in the sky? Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a potato. By the power of vegetables, I am here. Hooray! 
Super Potato has come to the rescue. Using my super vegetable vision, I can see that my friend here is in trouble. Yes, you have to get him out. I will use my fruity strength to lift this roof off. Hoo-ha! Super Potato has rescued Mr. Potato. And remember, kids, when trouble calls... Eat your fruit and vegetables! Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. Seven! Always remember to eat your seven. <laughs> <laughs> is taking Goldie the fish to the vet for a checkup. <laughs> I like this road. It's all wibbly wobbly. <laughs> Goldie likes it too. The fish in the bowl swims round and round, round and round, round and round. Stop! Here is Mr. Bull. What are you doing, Mr. Bull? We're digging up this old road to make a new one. Will it be wibbly wobbly like the old road? No, Pepper. It will be straight. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a bit of shouting to do. Come on, lads, get a move on! Mr. Bull is the boss. Bosses like to shout. Give up the good work! But how will we get Goldie to the vet? We'll just have to walk there. Pepper and Goldie have arrived at Dr. Hamster the Vets. Dr. Hamster helps sick pets get better. Hello, Dr. Hamster. I've brought Goldie the fish for her checkup. Ah, she's lovely. Is that the checkup? Yes, just make sure she drinks plenty of water. Oh, hello, Mr. Bull. Hello, Dr. Hamster. Sorry about the noise. We're building a new road. Will you take long? No, not long. We just have to knock this building down. <gasps> you can't knock this building down. No, this is where Polly Pets come to get better. Is it? Yes. Can't you make the road go around the building instead? Around the building? Around? But then the road wouldn't be straight. Busy people can't be wasting time driving around things. If you can't go around it, then can you go over it? No, that would be silly. What about going underneath it? Oh, a tunnel. That's very hard to do. Oh, someone's at the back door. Oh, hello. It is Mr. Bull's brother. Hello. Sorry about the noise, but we're building a road and need to knock this building down. Dr. Hamster's home for sick pets is in the way of the new road. Hello, everyone. Mr. Rabbit is the road building inspector. Hmm, things are looking a bit slack, Mr. Bull. Why have you stopped working? This building is in the way. I said they should build a tunnel. Yes, a tunnel would do. Mm, yes, but that would be very hard to do. Are your machines not strong enough to make a tunnel? What? Our machines are the strongest machines in the world. We can build a tunnel. I'll dig from this side. I'll dig from the other side. And we'll meet in the middle. Hooray! Mr. Bull and his brother are digging a tunnel through the hill. The tunnel has been dug. And the new road is finished. Hooray! Congratulations, Mr. Bull. You did a fine job. Yes. Now all those busy people can get to where they're going more quickly. The new road is so nice and straight that lots and lots of cars have come to use it. Uh, they're not going that quickly. Hmm. There are more cars using this road than we had planned for. We'll need a bigger road. So, what are you going to do? 
only one thing we can do, Peppa. We'll we dig up the road! <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and George love it when Mr. Bull and his brother dig up the road. Everyone loves it when Mr. Bull and his brother dig up the road. Long train journey. Peppa and her family are having breakfast. Oh. What's the matter, Daddy Pig? I need to go on a long journey for work. Can we come too? It's work, Peppa, and it's a long, long way by train. Choo-choo! <laughs> Please, can we go? It won't be fun. I'm testing concrete. I need to know the relative density to mass to calculate for voids in the aggregate. I need to know that too. Uh, what does Mummy Pig think? I think it sounds lovely. But it's hundreds of miles away in another country. Please, Daddy Pig. All right. We can all go. Hooray! This is the train station. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is the train driver. All aboard! <laughs> Full steam ahead! Are we nearly there yet? No, Pepper. It's a long journey, so you'll just have to be patient. <sighs> Why not sing a song to pass the time? OK. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack, the train runs on the track. Huff and puff, huff and puff, clickety clickety clack. I've sung a song. Now are we nearly there? Oh, oh, there's still a long way to go, Peppa. We won't get there until tomorrow morning. But what about bedtime? Where will we sleep? Right here. But this isn't a bedroom, Daddy. Watch this. <laughs> Magic beds! <laughs> and here's where we brush our teeth. A magic bathroom. There's a little basin with little taps. And that's not all. A magic toilet. I wonder what this button is for. Ah. <laughs> Daddy has found the magic shower. <laughs> Hello. Passports, please. Of course. Ah, you are Mr. Pig? We, Mr. Pig. You must be coming to test our concrete. Uh, yes. Do you know me? Oh, your work in concrete is famous in our country. Oh, but I have disturbed you. Good night. Uh, good night. It is bedtime. <sighs> night, night, Pepper and George. Night, night, my little piggies. Night, night. Pepper and George are tucked up in their little beds on the train. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack, the train runs on the track. Huff and puff, huff and puff, ba da 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 boop, boop. It is morning and time for breakfast on the train. Good morning. Miss Rabbit, aren't you meant to be driving the train? It's fine. The train runs on rails. It can't get lost. Would you like coffee or orange juice? I'd like both, please. No, coffee or orange juice. You can't have both. I don't think we have to be so strict with the famous Mr. Pig. Coffee and orange juice. Thank you. Excuse me, I am King Alfonso. Could I have a coffee and orange juice too? No, that is impossible. and her family have arrived at the end of their long train journey. We are honoured to have your visit, Mr. Pig. Thank you. Here is the concrete for you to test. Daddy Pig is an expert at concrete. Hmm. Very good. Hooray! I hope the train journey wasn't too long and tiring. No, it was lovely. What do we do now? My job is done. So we can take the train back home. Oh, goody. We get to sleep on the train again. <laughs> Peppa loves long train journeys. Everyone loves long train journeys. <laughs> Susie goes a 
away. Susie's sheep has come to play with Pepper. Hello, Susie. <laughs> Hello, Pepper. <laughs> Pepper and Susie are best friends. <laughs> Let's play in my room. I'll be the princess. And this is my plastic crown. I want to be the nurse. And I need to check if you are well. Say ah. Ah. <laughs> I've got a secret. What is the secret? My mummy has got a new job and we're moving to a new house. Wow! Mummy, mummy! <coughs> Susie is going to have a new bedroom in a new house. <laughs> yes, Mrs Sheep has just been telling me all about it. This new job is so much more interesting than the job I have now. And I'm going to learn a new language and do all sorts of exciting new things. <laughs> It sounds wonderful. I can't wait to play in Susie's new room. <coughs> oh, Pepper, Susie is moving to the other side of the world. You won't be able to play with her every day. But I'll see you every day at school, won't I, Susie? Yes, I'll still go to school, won't I, Mummy? You're going to a new school, Susie. Oh, will I ever see you again? Oh, I'm sure you'll see Susie again, Pepper. Yes. Oh, look at the time. We have to go. But, Mummy, we need to play some more. You can play some more tomorrow. Right now, we have to go and pack. Oh, bye-bye, Peppa. See you, Susie. Are you OK, Peppa? I'm sad. It's a bit of a shock, Susie moving away, isn't it? Yes. Why don't you make Susie a going-away card? OK. <laughs> I'm drawing me and Susie and flowers. That's a lovely card, Peppa. Hmm. Would you like to talk to Susie on the phone? Yes, please, Mummy. Hello. Hello, Susie. I'm a bit sad. Me too. Are you still coming to play tomorrow? Yes, please. OK. See you tomorrow. It is morning and Susie Sheep has come to play with Peppa. Race you to the next hill. <laughs> <laughs> I will really miss you, Susie. <laughs> and I'll miss you, Peppa. <laughs> I will even miss you bossing me about. What do you mean? You are the bossy one. No, I am not. <coughs> yes, you are. <laughs> we are both a bit bossy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy about this new job in a new country. I thought I'd be stuck here forever. So you said. <laughs> are you ready to go, Susie? No, wait. <coughs> I made you a going away card. <coughs> Thank you, Peppa. And you can have this. It's my most favourite plastic crown because you are so special. And so you don't forget me and you must keep it forever. I will never forget you, Peppa. Don't go, Susie. Hello? Oh, I see. Right. They said I didn't get the new job. So you're not moving away? No. Are we staying here forever? Yes. Hooray! <laughs> I'm glad you're staying, Susie. Me too. Now you can give me my crown back. But you said I could keep the crown forever. I know. But you're not going away now. Oh. You can wear it when you come round. What about the card? You can keep the card. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are the best of friends. 